Hi, boy. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm interested in some junk. And man, you sure got lots of it. Something you want to buy? That's why I'm here. Spare parts? A body? A body? Yeah, that's it, man. They're just like dead bodies, only nobody will take the time to bury them. Uh, my friend there, he's been here before. Do you know how we remember this place? By those barking dogs there. Tell me, man, what is that? City town. Oh, that's too bad. They're going to die, too. It's too bad, man, because I like dogs. I mean it. I like them a lot. Hey, Tom! You recognize them? Should I? Lots of people coming here. Oh, man, you fixed this car about a month ago. You did a pretty good job, brother. Tell me, how's business? It's not bad. <laughs> Tommy there said uh, he got into a discussion with you about the war. Said that uh, you were in that uh, deep sea something. Underwater demolition. That's it, brother. Underwater demolition. Well, I'll tell you. Tommy there, he's the type that don't talk much. I mean, uh, you notice how he just keeps to himself? Silence may be a virtue, man, but uh, you just got to talk now and then. Tell the world what you're thinking. And do you know what I'm thinking? I say, do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that a man with a little underwater experience could come in very handy. Make himself say you maybe uh, $10,000, maybe more, depending. Depending on what? Business, man, business. This job you've got in mind, is it something I could uh, brag about or write home about? Or, or if I had a friend who was a cop, I could discuss it with. Oh, no, man, it's downright illegal. I intend to steal somebody else's money. Of course, uh, the risk on your part would be relatively small. You tell me this? Oh, man. <laughs> I know where you live. I know you got a wife. And I know you don't make a dime in this place here. You're quite a learned man, aren't you? <laughs> oh, man, we're going to get along. You got a sense of humor like mine. It ain't the jokes that makes me laugh. You know the tagline kind? No. It's just that plain, ordinary conversation. Funniest thing in the world, that conversation. I notice you just don't come out and say no to my words. Shall I talk a little more? No. Tell me, uh, uh, you like burlesque shows? What are you talking about? Burlesque, man. Those funny-looking chicks dancing around on the stage, there's one downtown. If you should decide to get out of this place and uh, take that short swim for $10,000, go see that burlesque show. Only uh, do it before the week is out, because there ain't much time. Understand? Tommy, what do you think's on the other side of that junk pile? More junk. That's because you peaked. If you were to climb that little hill, knock yourself out, by the time you reach the top, you be so tired and fed up, you just as soon as slide right back down again. Is that right? You understand, Junkie? You get the hell out of here and you take your silent sweetheart with you. Is that it? Back up. Go ahead. Noble brother, you have done me wrong. Judge me, you gods. Long I, mine enemies, 
And if not so, how should I wrong a brother? All I need is a water pump. Vintage 1952, breed Ford. Cassius, you yourself are much condemned to have an itching palm. Three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars. <laughs> Hollywood has some wonderful corners where sometimes absolute strangers can meet on, uh, shall we say, common ground. Hmm, a bit oily. But still, Hamlet, Macbeth and Julius Caesar. Yes. Hey, you're much too young to hang your head so. Now look at me. I get $22 a day for a mob scene. My well-groomed white hair, my classical profile, all lust, like the popping of a bubble on the ocean. But I look at it this way. I have the noblest face in the crowd. Fairly well. Fairly well, friend. Thank you. Place. No wonder he's complaining about losing money. And who is this mysterious boss, anyway? I rush into town and jump out on that milk box and start dancing. Nobody tells you anything. No contract, no nothing. Look, honey, just go right in that office. You'll find him. I'm Sandy Smith. I understand you think I wear too many clothes. You do? And that my routine's a little high class for you. That too, huh? Well, I don't mind you thinking that because it means I'm different from the rest. And that's what I want to be, different. It doesn't work, honey. You gotta join them. You can join them, maybe, not me. I'll take off a few more clothes if you like. I understand this place isn't exactly a garment center. But that routine stays like I said it. No bumps, no rise. Everybody's filled with confidence today. But I hate to tell you this, kid, but one day it'll blow up in your face and you'll realize what you are. Hey, tell me, do you ever lie awake at night and dream that you own Radio City Music Hall? I don't dream of anything anymore. And I don't have anything to do with shows. Especially this one. Aren't you the boss of this place? No. I must be that desert sun. I think everyone out here has been getting a little too much of it. Everybody's fat. Everybody cares. Before, down the street, I kept looking at all the people's faces. Really, all look alike. So sexless. Like a pair of eyeglasses or something. You want to do your little dance? 
Go out and do it. What's the difference? Who cares about it? There's a difference to me. I knew a girl once who used to stand on the corner of Hollywood and Vine. She was a young actress from Dayton, Ohio. She thought if she just stood still on that corner long enough, something would happen to her. Something did. She got hungry. Soon the sun went down and she got cold. Then she couldn't keep her eyes open. She got so sleepy. So, she went home and went to bed. That's all. You understand? You're alone. So quit knocking yourself out. You do better taking your clothes off and sitting in the sun like the rest of us. Hey. Listen. I'm sorry. I got nothing against you. What did I say to make you do this? Hey, my baby, you come home from the field. So a little time makes the blood cool. Welcome, brother. Hey, you, uh, likey these one? Huh? Hey, you, uh, come back later, then we'll discuss the matter of your, uh, art. Look, what I said in there, I... I mean... I don't want to hurt anyone. Can we go someplace after you finish work? No, thanks. It's on the level with me. Just a couple of drinks. Or some coffee, if you'd like. No. Oh, I'm too tired for anything but sleep. Okay, honey. Tomorrow? The beach? Right, they have beaches here, don't they? Let's go early. We'll take a long walk. I'll pick you up, okay? Okay. I'm at the Hollywood Center Motel. Nine o'clock, okay? Sandy, um... Smith. Mm-hmm.
I'll bet the lifeguard makes you take your little house down. It's not a little house. It's a cabanya. Very stylish and continental. You've really gone Hollywood, huh? Why not? I've got a reading tomorrow. Oh? Don't you know what a reading is? You tell me. When a producer or a, a director or a casting agent think you might be right for something, they have you act out a little part of the script right there in front of them. And from that, they decide whether or not to give you the part. That's called a reading. Where is this reading supposed to take place? In an office, I suppose. Aren't offices usually open during the day? I mean, at least while the sun is out? I know how it sounds, but... You know where half the people in this town got their jobs? Cocktail party and luncheon date. You left something out. It's not like that. If it is, I'll leave, that's all. But it's not going to be like that. Ernest has already given me the script and all. Maybe I better come along with you. <laughs> Don't be silly. Do you realize we've been here almost an hour and we haven't gone swimming yet? I don't want to go swimming. Why? It's too cold to take my breath away. Oh, boy, you haven't lived till you've had your breath taken away. You mean you could be arrested, not me. I think I'll try to struggle into a dry suit, and then we can look for some more shells. I'll give you five minutes.
anywhere I might be right for this girl in your story, but in Naples, Italy, why don't you use a girl with an Italian accent? Honey, in Italy, people do not speak with Italian accents. They uh, speak uh, Italian. Oh, oh, I see. So everyone will just speak English, as though they were speaking Italian. That's it, baby. Are you Italian? <laughs> uh, French, Spanish, Mexican, and Irish. How come you write about Italy, then? People are the same everywhere, honey. That girl in your script gives her boss everything he wants in order to keep a job. Nobody goes hungry. But she's married. Great. So they have two salaries coming in. And they have a son, later a daughter, husband love wife, wife love husband. Now <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're squeamish, Sandy, about a man who reaches out. The hmm? girl in your script is. No, she isn't. Then why write about it? But so where's the conflict? If she's not squeamish, let him reach out all he likes. Who cares? That's the meaning of the whole thing. It's a joke, honey. It's a big, fat riddle. about a friend. He'd like to reach out too, but he doesn't. Well, mix him a martini. Is Mark really coming here to reach me? Do you care? I care. Well, then he'll be here. Like you take on a task of driving all the way from New York to Hollywood. I was told how lost I'd be out here without a car. Well, I thought of other things most of the time. What things? The studios. Getting some decent acting jobs. Glamour. <laughs> that too, I guess. Everyone likes glamour. Everyone likes glamour. Everyone likes to relax. Turning. Just drifting. The drinks are making me do that. Where are you now? Hmm? I don't know. Well, find out. Make things clear, Peter. Look. See what kind of things are. Listen, would you like to? Yes, I think I would like to see them. If Mark were here, could you see them easier? Oh, I don't know.
Tony, I'm afraid. Mark? Where's Mark? Mark is coming. Mark and Ernest are going to help. All the time you'll find that people you don't even know will help you. With all right out scripts. Act out parts. And do our dance. We deserve love and like this. Tony. Easy, baby. Sandy, you've got to let me take you home. No, I don't want you to take me home. Look, I just can't let you walk into the streets half-dressed. I'll find a taxi. Don't walk with me anywhere. Don't touch me or try to be nice to me. Don't give me anything. Look, you'll be all right. Tomorrow I won't be such a monster to you. You're going to play that Italian girl, Sandy. So help me, you're going to play the Italian girl. Now remember it tomorrow while you're calling me names. You're going to play the Italian girl. <laughs> Thank you. 
too, with money. I stole it. I've got to share it with two others, but it's still enough. Enough for what? For me to go someplace, I guess. You, uh... Thank you, Tony. That's a very nice offer. Really, it's very nice that you said that. I think I'll leave tonight, after it's divided. I don't want to go. What do you do? Go back to New York? Maybe in a year or two? Come back out here and try again? I don't know. For God's sakes, I'm offering you something. Grow up and take it. I don't want it. I, I just don't understand. I'm offering you this money. Now climb up out of hell. still sitting in the same place. I... I went to the beach. I thought maybe I... Maybe the amusement park. Are you going to dance tonight? Yes. It'll be all right. I'm going to give them what they want. How do you know what they want? They yell for it. I love you. What's the matter? 
I completely forgot about the money. It's down in the car. What are you gonna do with it? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. I'll deliver the money like I'm supposed to. That's all I'll do. We'll try without the money, Sandy. All right. Say, you still have that little canvas house? Hold on to it. I gotta go. Okay. Shall I pack? Pack. Hurry, baby. I'll hurry. Spooky, ain't it? Where's Nick? All I know is he isn't here. Nick is pretty trusting with that key. I practiced opening and closing it many times without it making a sound. I didn't expect you to hear anything. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want the money either. Nobody changes, Angel Face. It's you or me. Hospital very close to here, let me drive you. And there's not a sound. No sound at all. Oh. So white and cold. And not a sound. 
It's so good here. Nobody running. Just nobody running. I'm going to call the hospital. No, no, don't leave me. But it's only the phone, darling. Only across the roof. Put your arms around me. Keep them around me. Oh, Tony. <laughs> You want to dance? It's all right. It's all right. You can dance now. <laughs> 